AITA for telling my wife I'm not doing free work for my father-in-law? I don't work overtime and I won't do side work. Saturday morning she gets off the phone with her father and says we're going to do drop some stuff. Often I can look at the bathroom floor that he wants done. Flooring. New toilet. And new vanity and trim. I was annoyed that she volunteered me but said okay. You too can work out the payment. Our dishwasher went so a few hundred bucks would help. She got pissed off that I would charge her father. Meanwhile I just got roped into doing other trim work for him for free a couple months ago. She got all pissed. I'll never ask you for help again. God forbid you do a favor. I said, this is not a favor. A favor is moving a fridge or couch. This is a project. I don't know what you think I do all day but the last thing I want to do is be on my hands in. Knees doing flooring after humping drywall all day. Don't go volunteering my time for free. For something that's not as easy as in and out in 5 minutes. So we went to look at the bathroom I I just said to him you work out the labor costs with your daughter. We're kind of tight for the new appliance. I don't feel bad at all since he's listing the house next week and poised to make 250k plus profit. No free labor. For anyone. Edit. I do want to add one thing. This mostly was not about the money for me. It's that I've made it abundantly clear to everyone that I don't do side work. A few extra dollars isn't making me rich or changing anything. I value my time. The father-in-law and my wife are the only ones who don't get the message. So to me if you're going to bust my balls instead of hiring someone. You can pay me less than a company you hire or you can hire a company. So I'm an electrician by trade and my general rule is. If it's a friend or family member. And it's an emergency. Such as half their house has no power I'll come take a look for nothing as a favor. I've never once had someone not offer me money for that. If it's any kind of project. Home improvement or extended job. They pay half to two thirds my normal rate and are responsible for sourcing material based off a. List I give them. They very rarely have an issue with that. If the price is too high, they are welcome to hire someone out of the phone book and pay double or triple. No family member should ever ask you to do days worth of work for free. And you should never expect to not be paid for your labor. Your father-in-law is definitely the asshole here and your wife clearly doesn't grasp the vault of skilled physical labor of she thinks you should just do it for free. Sounds like a marriage and boundary thing to be worked out by you and your wife. Sounds like you're setting a healthy boundary. You're preaching to the choir in this subreddit. NTA. Obviously. NTA, and honestly if all you charge for the job is a new dishwasher you are still doing him a huge favor. He'll still be coming out way ahead. I was sorta in the middle till you mentioned he flipping the house. No. That's gross. He should absolutely be paying you. Not even a friends and family rate. If it's a flip. Full cost should be there. NTA. I used to do carpentry and you'd probably believe. But most people wouldn't. The number of people that would solicit for free labor from me. It's just a small favor. It's a real simple project. Hell with that. I made that mistake once. And it haunted me for years because people found out I did a project for free. Stay firm on that boundary. Definitely not the asshole. Her volunteering you for a major project without consulting you at all and expecting you to do it. For free is not okay. If it's a favor she can do it then. Make her see that this isn't just a free market. Ah yes. The buddy rate. If they were real friends, family they would want to pay full price to support you and your family. I think doing small things for family, close friends is just part of being a human being with life. And I don't consider it labor. 
just existing and being part of a community. This was not a small thing. It was not just helping family out. That would be, I'm taking delivery of a couch on Tuesday can you stop by and help me get it in the door. Or, I have to go in early today. Can you hang out at the house for 15 minutes until my 6-year-old's bus comes for school? One-offs. Once in a blue moon. And the expectation is you can ask similar tasks of the recipient and they will be just as amenable. This was taking advantage of a skilled laborer and it was gross and your wife has no boundaries. Am I correct in guessing that she's used to her family taking advantage of her and sees it as normal? Family doesn't understand even though you're good at that skill and that's what you do for a living. Doesn't mean it's a charity. Why I quit automotive. Edit. What gets me is usually the people who ask me for favors are people who are financially well off. I guess we can't blame them for us being the cheapest option in their opinion. NTA. Early in my marriage. I went to war against my wife volunteering my time. I'm a human. Not something that you can lend out to others. The next battle was reserving the right to say no. Learned my lessons, did mowing on my vacation time while they were out of the country on vacation. Like I don't have enough of my own projects. Killed half my day, he said he'd give me 50 bucks, never brought it up again after I did it for him. I'm over free labor, I don't ask favors or expect to not pay people. Also, it was like three acres and took some time. NTA. Really doesn't bode well for OP's lady that this is her mindset, to volunteer and use OP's time. And energy as if it's hers. The disrespect and lack of consideration is palpable. I think you made the right argument. This isn't a favor being asked. It's a full-on job and you should be compensated. If your wife bitches, tell her she can get on her hands and knees and do the work for free. I draw for a living. And I might even have you beat for the number of times people ask me for stuff for free. But drawing is fun to you. It won't even feel like work. Right. 250k profit? Tell the cheapskate to pay for the work. I would turn the tables on your wife and say, wow. A quarter of a million in profit. They can give us a chunk of that. When she complains say, told you so. NTA. I do odds and ends jobs for an elderly widow who is on a fixed income and the reason I do it for. Free is because she is an elderly widow on a fixed income. Dot, but we are talking 30 to 45 minutes. Projects are maybe a few hours. Replacing wooden front steps, etc. Not projects that are going to take multiple days. I'm totally with you on helping people move a fridge or a couch. Even helping them move to a new house for the obligatory pizza and beer. But I always tell them, I will help you move. So call me when you are ready. But I'm not there to help you pack or unpack. If you're packing while I am there. I'm leaving and not coming back. The fact that this is being done. Apparently. To increase the selling value of the house means that it should be a compensated job. If your favor is going to allow this dude to make 5 to 10k extra on the sale of the home. It isn't a favor. It's maximizing profits. If you don't do it. And the numbers still work. He will still outsource the labor at market rate and make money. Because nobody is going to remodel a bath if it's going to decrease the profits generated on sale. I probably would have just said I'd be happy to help him out with his project if he could help us. Get a new dishwasher. LMFAO bro this isn't our, anti-work this is our, you're getting a divorce. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.